My guest at this time is Larry Pratt. He's the executive director at Gun Owners of America. He joins me today to discuss the very secretive Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal and why he thinks it may very well be a backdoor for President Obama to take another step towards imposing gun control in this country. And Larry, thanks very much for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me, Greg. Appreciate it very much. In an alert that Gun Owners of America sent out, you believe this fast-track authority that the Congress is currently weighing whether to give the president would give him the power to ban the importation of certain ammunition. Why do you believe that's the case? What do we know about this? Fast-track authority, in, in the context of this treaty, means a blank check. By a majority vote, the Congress is preparing to give the president authorization to negotiate a treaty, which then could, when he brings it back, it would take two-thirds of the Senate to vote it down because of the way they've set up the parliamentary structure on this. That's nuts. This is a president who can't be trusted to do anything. We know that. He's not a truthful man. The idea that they would give him a blank check that he could write all kinds of firearms import and export uh, restrictions into a treaty with Pacific nations, uh, what are they thinking? And they're not, so far, they have not responded to our calls and other people's calls to, okay, amend it now while it's in a regular bill fashion and send him his authority minus gun-grabbing opportunity. And so far, all we get it back is crickets. A little upsetting. Well, here's my, here might be the reason why. This is how Politico describes the secrecy involved in lawmakers even learning what's in this power. Yeah. If you want to hear the details of the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal the Obama administration is hoping to pass, you've got to be a member of Congress, and you've got to go to classified briefings and leave your staff and cell phone at the door. If you're a member who wants to read the text, you've got to go to a room in the basement of the Capitol Visitor Center and be handed at one section at a time, watched over as you read, and forced to hand over any notes you make before leaving, and no matter what, you can't discuss the details of what you've read. So what do you make of the secrecy here? I guess the only way you could defeat that would be to have a camera embedded in the retina of your eye. I'm not sure that technology exists yet. But this is incredible. This is the administration that advertised itself. I know they didn't tell the truth again. As the most transparent that there ever would be. Give me a break. This is (laughs) really going to the other extreme. Where's the objection just on procedure? let alone any of the details. Uh, It's a little upsetting to me that we have such a compliant, supine Congress that the president apparently, uh, rightly, figures he can just wrap around his finger and do what he wants. Larry, some might be listening to this and thinking, well, if it's so hard to know what's in it, how does Larry know that potentially there's a problem with the president banning the importation of ammo in here? Oh, I don't know that it's there. I'm just assuming that a guy that's done everything he can heretofore uh, with his pen, as he said he would do, uh, will do it again when he's given a blank check. And it's not just guns. I mean, we could be talking about any number of other subjects where the president could just go hog wild. So for people to say, well, just because you haven't seen the treaty, why are you objecting? Wait a minute. The only time when anybody will be able to see the treaty is when it's too late to do anything. Larry, where do we import most of our ammunition from? We get a lot of ammunition from uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, it's made by Wolf and uh, some other countries. Um, and then there's, and I'm not much of a shooter, but I do have a supply of that brand, so I, I know about that. But there are other companies from other countries. And so what happens now? Your organization, the NRA, have both been very effective at stopping legislation. You don't want to see pass on gun-related issues. We certainly saw that in the wake of Newtown and the president's efforts there. Didn't even get uh, through a test vote in a democratically controlled Senate. So this issue, of course, in general, is one that both parties kind of like because, in general, it's an issue they can finally agree on. But how do you go about trying to raise awareness of what you think could be happening here? Our members have been uh, communicating with them fairly regularly because we send out alerts to them, email alerts, which they signed up for at gunowners.org. And when they have gotten our alerts, we know that they've been sending 
off the embedded email to the appropriate member of Congress saying, don't let this thing get loose. Deal with it now while you still have the opportunity. And uh, so far, uh, we haven't seen any results, I'm sorry to say. Obviously, since the legislative effort that I mentioned from back in 2013, uh, we had the blow up uh, a few months ago over the ATF's perspective ban on various types of ammunition, particularly for the AR-15. Ultimately, that got withdrawn after a humongous uh, public outcry on that. Um, What else do you think uh, could be in store in this debate in the final, I guess, 20 months or so of this administration? Well, this treaty is likely to be before the Senate, the authorizing legislation, uh, as early as next week. And uh, this this horse is standing right by the door, ready to bolt. So uh, hopefully uh, people are going to be stepping up their contacts with members of Congress, or uh, I'm fairly confident predicting that if we give the president an opportunity to stick it to the Second Amendment, he will do it. Larry, last question. You and Mike Hammond uh, count heads probably better than just about anyone in, in Washington. Do you have the votes to stop it in either the House or Senate? I don't think we do in the Senate, and I'm not sure about the House. We'll, we'll certainly be watching. As you mentioned, it could all unfold next week. Thank you very much for your time today. I appreciate your interest in this. Thank you. You bet. Larry Pratt is Executive Director at Gun Owners of America. I'm Greg Columbus reporting for Radio America.